Blackpool Collaborate Tips and Tricks. In this lesson, I'm going to show staff a few tips and tricks to do with Blackboard Collaborate to make your online sessions more engaging and interactive for your students. So the first tip I have is to upload an opening slide so you never have a black window in the classroom. So in order to do that, we click on the sharing, we click on share files, and we can share this now with the class. And this just gives a bit of information about what's happening in the class and what's coming up in the classroom. So that's the first tip. The second tip, and some people like to do both, is you can add music to this room. So you can simply turn on your microphone and then navigate to a radio station and press play. And that will be playing now. You can just about hear it to the room. This indicates that something's actually going on in the room. It's not just a dead room. Okay. The second tip for this lesson is to use Chrome. Blackboard Collaborate works best in Chrome. It does work in Safari, it does work in Firefox, but I much prefer Chrome because it works perfectly. So if you're having any issues with your browser or connecting to the room, try and use Chrome. If you have other websites open in the background, so if you have Spotify, if you have YouTube, anything that's streaming data, I would turn these off before you go into the classroom. Okay, the other tip is to start the session early. So basically, I would always get there at least 10 minutes, 15 minutes before the session starts in order to solve any connection issues that students may be having or any IT issues that they may be having as well. The next tip is all to do with your classroom and setting up your classroom. If you remember, if you go to settings and session settings, you're able to choose what the participants, i.e. the students in the room, can do. And whilst sometimes it's useful for them to share video and share audio, a lot of the time it really isn't. You want them to listen. You don't want them to be playing with their video settings and audio and interrupting you. So you can turn them off here. And now when a student goes into this Collaborate room, they won't be able to actually share their audio or video, but they will be able to chat still. So this is really useful when you've got a big presentation to give and they can ask questions within the chat window, but you don't want them interrupting with audio and video. Okay, I think that's about it for tips and tricks. If you have any questions, please get in touch with dentalelearning at qmul.ac.uk.